Good morning everyone and welcome to the Minimalist Campers. This morning we are making juniper balsamic vinegar. So I have juniper spruce tips, or not spruce tips, juniper tips. I'm used to saying spruce tips because I've been making so much spruce tip recipes. So juniper tips with the juniper berries. So berries apparently take about three years to mature into a dark purple color with a white coating on it. And that's how you recognize that it's a juniper berry. It has that white coating. So we picked all of the little tips. These tips are absolute, absolutely yummy. They are very, um, very mild, very flavorful, and kind of on the, on the citrusy side when you chew on them. They're very nice to just pick up in the forest and chew them. Of course, they're high in vitamin C, just like all of the tips that are around right now. They're high in nutrients, they help digestion, they help all kinds of stuff. So we're getting to know a little bit about, about the uh, tips. So in order to make balsamic vinegar, we need about two cups of apple cider vinegar, which is a homemade apple cider vinegar. That might be in one of my next videos when all of the apples are out and we're wondering what to do with our leftover apples. Vinegar. About two cups of spruce tips, and I have some extra ones here in case I want to like fill up my jar. You need some honey, so I have some raw lo local organic honey here, and some pepper, some organic black pepper. Now a little bit more about the juniper. The juniper is a plant that's good for uh, your the bladder. So a lot of people take it for bladder problems, uh, gallbladder problems, prostate. It's also an anti-inflammatory, it's a digestive aid, it's like an anti-gas kind of digestive aid. So some, some people will chew on the berry before a meal to um, help them with uh, gas when they're eating or after they, they've eaten. Um, also, if you chew on one of the berries, you might find, if you're a gin fan, you might find that it actually tastes like gin because it is uh, part of gin recipes. They, it is made out of juniper berries, um, especially the Dutch gin. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so I have my four cup mason jar and I will start filling my mason jar with my spruce tips. I said spruce tips again, that's just a habit, with my juniper tips. So this recipe actually is a recipe that's made with spruce tips in the first place, um, but I decided to kind of spice it up or to change it up a little bit and put the juniper tips in for the balsamic vinegar with the seeds or with the berries. Um, and the reason is that when your balsamic vinegar is ready, so this is going, this recipe is going to sit for at least a month, minimum a month, to two months to three months, um, and then so forth, um, the berries and the tips will actually become um, pickled if you want, and you can use them in recipes. You can put them in marinades, you can put them on your fish, on cheese, um, so you're going to be using the balsamic vinegar and you're going to also be, if you want, because you can strain it out, you can eat the tips and the berries or strain them out and use just the balsamic vinegar. So I see that I can use a little bit more, so I have some extra here. Okay. I have two cups of apple cider vinegar. Okay, so we have the peppercorn. The peppercorn is for flavor. I add about 10 peppercorns to the recipe and about two tablespoons of honey. Now I don't have anything to measure, so I'm just gonna let it go right in there. So one, two, stop that flow right there. When I get home, I will probably top it off with more vinegar. Just because while you're making the recipe, you might as well just have more balsamic vinegar. So I'm probably gonna add more apple cider vinegar. I don't have any with me right now. I only have two cups. Um, so that's what it's going to be. So you're just gonna let that sit. You're gonna mix it every once in a while. And by mixing, I mean just, just a little bit of mixing. 
just to get things moving a little bit. Vinegar. I like using my bal balsamic vinegar. I sprinkle it over my veggies before I put them in the oven. So it's like a balsamic vinegar roasted veggies. It is absolutely wonderful with more spices on it. Another thing I'll be doing with uh, my juniper tips is oil. Um, because it is so flavorful and I love the taste of juniper tips, I'll be mixing it with oil so I can keep that also for medicine or for cooking. I hope you enjoy the juniper balsamic vinegar and please give, give us feedback if you attempt the recipe and, uh, and enjoy it. We'd love to know about it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!